All right, we were doing a PM on a customer trailer today and noticed that the Hendrickson Tire Max uh, auto inflation system was disabled. They have this ball valve right here uh, uh, in the closed position, uh, so it's no longer feeding air out to the tires if they have a, a leak. So we wanted to see what was up. Right now we have the trailer brakes released. This thing shouldn't add or uh, relieve any air pressure without uh, the trailer brakes being released. All right, this is a uh, screenshot uh, from the service manual for the Tire Max Pro uh, controller. Uh, all right, so when we release the brakes, air is coming in this emergency air supply port on the side of the controller. So release the brakes, air pressure is coming on this red line here, and it's coming down to this valve. Now, when the air acts on the valve, it pushes this down. You can see in its resting state right now, the delivery line, the line's going out to the axles to inflate them or uh, relieve pressure if they're too high, is set to exhaust. See, this goes right down to an exhaust port, so that, that shouldn't be an air pressure in the lines when uh, the trailer brakes are set, when the parking brake's set. So if we take this valve, and when air pressure is on it, pushes the valve down to this position. Now you can see our, our air supply right here. So this is the air coming from the pressure protection valve uh, that is actually going out to the tires. It goes through a regulator with a flow switch. That flow switch is uh, illuminating the light at the front of the trailer and let you know that air is passing through the system. Uh, so it goes to a check valve and then uh, again with the air uh, pressure being here from the brakes being released it pushes the valve down here opens up the delivery line and now you can see our exhaust port is plugged is 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 blocked off so it blocks off the exhaust port and opens up the delivery line out to the out to the tires uh, so we're going to open up this valve and you can hear uh, air leak coming out by the wheel end and we can see it's coming out of this axle drain right here now this axle drain you can see it's it's like it's mounted on the side this isn't to drain moisture out of the axle this is to drain uh, air pressure in case there's a leak inside of uh, the axle or the auto inflation system so you don't uh, pressurize the axle and blow out a wheel seal and that's an important note don't ever put your finger over here and uh, close up the air pressure because air pressure uh, is going to build up in the axle and it's going to give on the only place it can give uh, and that's going to be on a wheel seal or a hubcap gasket. Um, all right, so this axle drain right here uh, is for the entire axle. So it could be either this hubcap that is leaking or the hubcap on the other side. So what we're going to do is pop out here and uh, show you how to figure out which side is leaking. All right, off of the Tire Max controller, if you trace the blue delivery line, so the air that's getting delivered out to the tires, there's one line right here, it leads to this block, and then it splits off to four different air lines going to uh, each uh, hubcap. Uh, so we're carrying, we're, the, the problem where we have the leak, it's in the front axle, so we're gonna trace the two hoses coming off the front axle. We have this hose right here, I got the loom peeled off and this one right here so basically i'm gonna have to shut off the air first so i don't have air rushing out of the of this uh block right here again air is coming from the controller this way and it'll be coming out to the to the tires so i'm going to set the trailer brake so we don't have air coming through here and i'm going to individually remove each line and when i do uh, i made this little plug right here all this is is a push to connect plug with a uh, brass uh, compression fitting on it and it works good for plugging up the uh, the lines here so we're gonna plug up the uh, uh, one of the lines uh, and then uh, release the brakes again and then if we still have an air leak then we know it was the unplugged line that uh, was causing the, the leak and if it stops the air leak then we know that it was to the wheel end that we that we plugged up uh, the uh, Hendrickson recommends that uh, in the book they recommend uh, opening up the hubcap and just checking uh, I don't recommend that because if you look at some of these hubcaps this is another uh, Henderson unit this is just a, a different trailer uh, if you notice uh, one bolt on the hubcap is different from the other so this is a hex head this is an allen head right here and they have like an epoxy uh, packed inside of there that's their way of checking if the wheel end was opened up a lot of these wheel ends uh, this one right here is an H 
XL7. So this has a seven year warranty on it. So if anything goes bad, bearings, wheel seal, uh, that's warrantied. So they can tell if someone was in the uh, wheel end, if someone picked out that epoxy or whatever they, they pack in there, uh, and that'll void the warranty. So I suggest checking out the air hoses first um, and go from there. All right, I uh, set my trailer brakes. I installed this plug on the uh, port going to the hose, going to the right side of the trailer, or right side of the axle, rather. Uh, the hose feeding the left side hubcap is still hooked up. So I'm gonna go up front, I'm gonna hit the uh, supply valve, open it up again, and if the air leak's still there, we know that our left side is a problem. And if this plug stops the air leak, I know the hubcap on the right side is a problem. Open this up. Uh, still got the air leak. Alright. Alright, so the fact that I plugged off line going to this side, the only other line going to this axle is the one that's still hooked up, then we know this hubcap's the one that's leaking. Alright, we're at this left front uh, wheel end position here. We're gonna take this hubcap off and see if we can hear where the leak's coming from. We're gonna take off the two inflation lines going to the tires. All right, got these off. Now we're gonna take the hubcap bolts off with a half inch socket. It's okay to take these off with an impact. When you're putting it back on, you're supposed to torque them down to 15 foot pounds in a star pattern. Oh yeah, you can hear it. I don't think it's leaking out of, so this hose connects to a rotary union right here on the hubcap. That's how it transfers air from the axles to the hubcap. Uh, we can check to see if this is tight. So this end is a 7 16 and the other end is a 3 8 a little flat spot on here. We can make sure that's tight. That's tight. And you can see it's actually leaking out of the rotary union right here, out at the bottom, past where the hose meets. Uh, the hubcap. All right, so we got another hubcap here. We're gonna replace this thing. I'm gonna shut off the air so it's not blown out at us and we'll get it replaced. Always changing uh, the hubcap gasket whenever we pop off that hubcap. This one right here. And I got new bolts with lock washers. Peel this old gasket off. All right, so I'm gonna grab a razor blade and we're gonna clean off all this uh, leftover gasket here. Um, that's gonna make a uneven uh, sealing surface for the new gasket that might leak. So grab that and clean that off.
Now we put this hub cap in, remove this little cap here. Put, make sure you put your hub cap gasket on because if you forget and you go to connect this and you go to bolt everything up, realize your gasket in, uh, isn't there, then you gotta pull everything back off. So make sure that's on there before you hook everything up. Anderson wants you to tighten these up to 50 inch pounds. Click. All right. Now we can install our hubcap bolts. When you install your hubcap, make sure you clock these correct so you can get your hoses in there uh, so your hoses aren't rubbing on the side of the tire. All right, we're gonna take these caps out, hook up our uh, inflation lines and pressurize the system and test for leaks. All right, we have our brakes released again, so we're gonna open up our supply valve going out to the, uh, to the axles and see if we still uh, have our air leak or if it's taken care of. All right, no more air leaking out of the uh, axle vent, so we're good to go.